Hey, what's up everyone? Diamondback Terrapins here. It's probably been about seven months since I uploaded a uh, video, uh, but these guys deserve it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, um, then you are missing out on some crazy, crazy turtles that I hatched out. Um, these are hybrid Diamondback Terrapin slash false map turtles and it has produced some wicked looking turtles absolutely crazy um regular false map and i used a concentric northern male and as you can see it produced crazy looking turtles that look Mainly terrapin, I say, but just with crazy patterns. Um, you can see there is two phenotypes. The one, two of them actually look like they've got more of the northern, and then the others actually have more of the, like, concentric northern look. So there is two distinct looks of the turtles. I hatched out ten. I have six right now. One died from the get-go, unfortunately, and another, I knew it probably wasn't going to make it. It looked like it had some kind of problems breathing, and it only lasted a couple months. And then two others I have given to a personal friend, and so he has them. It is... 3.3 in this tank. I have three males, three females. And the goal is to eventually breed them back. I'm not the first person to produce these. And the, per the first person that did successfully produce hybrid terrapin slash false maps did go on and was able to actually breed them back to each other and just produce even more insane looking turtles. But uh, they were all shipped to out of the country when they sold them. So currently my six and the two that my friend have are the only known ones in the United States, at least publicly that we know of. Now overseas, of course they still have them and I still see pictures, but in America, these are currently the only hybrids that we know of. And they are just insane looking. You can see the pattern is just absolutely beautiful on them. A nice orange pattern striping on the shell. Uh, these guys are just insane. That black and white skin tone. You can really see like the concentric phenotype versus the regular the patterns aren't as bold on the shell, just like a normal concentric. So that is just another awesome thing to see that there's two distinct looks to the turtles. Interesting that from the false map, they have a false maps have a check mark on the back of their head. And uh, you can see they just got a little dot. Some of them kind of have the check mark like that one kind of has the check mark for a false map, but unfortunately the one that really had a strong false map look to it for a head pattern uh, was the one that unfortunately died. But as you can see, these are way bigger than hatchlings. I've had these now for a couple months. These guys are all doing good. You can tell male from female. The tails are already longer on the males. Like you can see that is definitely a male. That tail is huge compared to like that one right there. That is a female short tail. If you can take them out and compare, like the head is already thicker and wider on the females. So I had to show you guys these. Hopefully I produce more 
because I saw a lot of people really like these and they really want some. And so I obviously still have my false map and I still have my male terrapins, so I should produce more eventually. We'll see what the future holds. So I hope you like this short update on these guys.